It's your time to shine, true or false. You can always participate uh, on the Sooner Nation podcast with your true or false statement, question, however you want to throw it out there. You can hit us up on Twitter at Sports Heartland. You can email us, heartland underscore sports at yahoo.com, or you can drop a comment uh, on our podcast page at heartland-sports.com. Each podcast has its own individual page. Drop it in there, and we'll try our best to get to it. We got five this week uh, coming from uh, Jordan, Austin, Tracy, Chris, and Donovan. And we're going to jump into these. These are all, all centered on the game. Uh, let's start out with some controversy, maybe. I don't know what your thoughts are. I'm kind of impartial to this. I'm going to, I'm going to, before I read the true or false statement, I'm just going to give an apathetic, I don't really care. And it's this. It's Jordan says, um, hey, the crowd was an embarrassment and the students should be ashamed. Um, that's, and look, here's the thing. I, I think we've, you, you, you've heard the you've heard the phrase you made the bed now you got to lie in it. I think we've made such a big deal about Lincoln Riley saying that USC was the mecca of college football, and then there not being a lot of crowds at USC. And that was the case again on Saturday. It wasn't a sellout at USC. It was a sellout in Norman. But I think we've kind of made this argument about how faithful Oklahoma fans are, what that crowd is like, what that atmosphere is like. And now we look at the TV and we see an empty student section. Uh, we see a, 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 you know the stadium a third of the way full as, as the game's winding down. And we got to say something. Oh, this is terrible. This is a travesty. So let me, let me just tell you this. I don't care. And here's why I don't care. Number one, it was hot. I was in that stadium, and let me tell you, it was hot. And that's not for everybody. It's Saturday. You're, you're getting close to party time on, on campus. You're still new there. You've still got all this energy. You haven't got deep, deep into your studies yet. Norman's buzzing. You want to get to the restaurant or go to the local establishment or whatever. You can use the heat as an, as an escape. And so it's more it's more tempting to do that in that moment than what it would be at other times. But I've been going to football games for a long time in Norman. And I, I I'm struggling to remember a more uncomfortable temperature on the hot side than what it was on Saturday. Now that said, I, I think the heat I, there was there was legitimate people who got sick because of the heat. There were legitimately people that were carried out of stretchers. I heard people talking about the stadium running out of water. I was always able to get water. I never experienced someone say I don't have any. But, I mean, I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm just saying it didn't happen where I was sitting or in the area, the concessions around my area. But at the end of the day, when you hear Dylan Gabriel talk about the atmosphere, when you hear Brent Venables talk about the atmosphere, when, when you hear people talk about how incredible and how crazy that moment was when they ran out of the tunnel, and, and then you win by a blowout, I think the crowd, the crowd did what they were supposed to do. I mean, if that, if that game is, is, is a two-score game or a one-score game, and it looks like that in the fourth quarter, then cry out, shame on you. But I stayed. I stayed till the very end. I saw the interception. I saw the kneel down. I saw it all. I was there. But I don't care that people in front of me or behind me or beside me left. That didn't bother me. And the reason why it doesn't bother me is because it, it, I don't think it bothered the team. I think everybody was like, dude, it's hot. Let's go. And, and I do think, I, I, do, I will say this. Maybe this is unpopular, okay? Maybe it's an unpopular opinion. I I think criticism towards those who left that stadium, I think it should be held to people who were in the stadium. In other words, if you were in the stadium and you chose to stay and you want to criticize those who left, then, then criticize those who left. But if you were watching this game from the comfort of your air-conditioned couch, well, your couch is not air-conditioned, but you know what I mean. On the couch in your air-conditioned house, I, I think you better sit this one out. 
because you have no idea how hot it was.